Hello, Mountain of Roses teachers, uh, classmates, teachers, and viewers. So, I am Paula. So, the next one who will report is Teacher Eunice, and the last one is Teacher Lovelyn. So, before we will proceed or we will go to our proper topic, proper discussion, let ha let's have first our jigsaw word puzzle. So, why it is jigsaw word puzzle? Because this topic is all about cooperative learning. What is cooperative learning? So, cooperative learning where all the students gathered all the information in our uh, topic. Right? So, okay. <laughs> so, let's move on to our... So, our topic is all about mean and variance of sampling distribution of sample means. So, this is our jigsaw words. So, let's try to find out the words that is connected to our discussion. Okay? So, I think we have a nine words. So, let's, let's see if we can find it all, the nine words. So, st standard division. It's two. One. Next is parameter. Next is what? Of course, sampling. The next is statistic. Next is random. Next is population. Next, last but not the last, is the variance. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Why is it 8? So I think that is all. 8, 8 words. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I think it's 8 words. Okay, so... So, so here is the words. So, the standard division, the variance, the random, the sampling, the mean, the statistic, parameter, and the population. So, you, so we miss the mean. So, why, what, why is it that these words is uh, uh, relevant to our discussion? Because we were talking about the mean and variance of sampling and standard division. So what is standard division? So standard division, this is the square root of the square root of variance. So the mean is the total average of the scores, right? So the population, oh, well, a population. So the population is means the whole information of st statistical investigation, observation of statistical inquiry. So the sampling or the samples are part of the population se selected for the study. Number of individuals included in definite sample called size of the sample. So the parameter. So the parameter is the statistical measures uh, computed from population data. And a population mean, population variance, and the population standard deviation. So the statistic is computed for sample data. So example is sample mean, sample variances, and sample division. Mountain of Roses, everyone. We are the group one, and I am going to talk about the population mean. What is population mean? Population mean is an average of a group characteristic. The group could be a person, item, or thing. Like, for example, all people living in the United States. All the green bags in my closet. A characteristic is just an item of interest. Here is the formula for population mean. This symbol represents the population mean. Well, this symbol represents the sum of the measure. 
And this symbol here represents the number of elements in the population. Here is the ex uh, example table for us to solve. There are four sections for the grade 2 students. For Pluto, there are 22 students. For Saturn, there are 21 students. For Mars, there are 20 students. And for Venus, there are 90 students. All in all, there are 82 students. Now, let us try to, to find the population mean. Here, equals. The formula is population mean is equal to sum of the measure divided by the number of elements in the population. So, the sum of the measure is 82. While the number of elements is 4 because there are 4 sections and there are 82 students. Now, let us try to solve this one. So, 82 divided by 5 is equal to 16.4. Therefore, the population mean for the given table is 16.4. That's all. So, let's move forward to our sample variance. So, since we have already the sample mean, the answer is 84. So, as we can recall that mean is a sample mean is a total scores as the average scores right it's a total average score so since we have already the 84 total average scores so we will proceed to the sample variance how we'll go how we are going to compute the sample variance so first don't we don't forget that to compute for the sample variance is squared we apply the formula of squared equals where x is equals given data equals the sample mean and is equals the sample size so population variance so we have here the student a b c d e f g h i j so they are 10 students so the x or the score of student a is 94 b is 85 c is 88 d is 79 e is 78 F is 75, G is 89, H is 91, I is 84, and J is 77. So the total of 840. That is the average sample mean of the students, the total scores. So let's proceed to the difference. So since we already have the mean, so we have to... Uh, Look for the difference between 94 to 84. So, you will, uh, uh, if ever, you will ask, where did I get, get 84? So, we already know the uh, scores, the average scores that is the mean. So, the mean, our mean is 84. So, 94 minus 84. So, 94 minus 84 is equal to... So, it is clearly uh, visible. So, 85. So, since student B have the scores of 85. So, we have to find the difference between 85 minus 84. So, by the way, this is the um, ungrouped data. Okay. So, 85 minus 84 is equal to 1. So, 88 minus 84 is equal to 4. 79 minus 84 is, is negative 5. Why is it negative 5? That is because 79 is smaller than 84. So, that is why it is negative 5. So, 78 minus 84 is equal to negative 6. And so on and so forth. Okay? So, until student J. Okay? So, in our squared variance, so 10 cents, 94 minus 84 is equal to 10. So we have to multiply. Okay? Don't forget that variance is squared of 
they mean from the mean ah uh, squared from division uh, squared division from the mean so 10 times 10 is equals to 100 that's why we have our 100 here okay 1 squared times a uh, 1 times 2 a uh, 1 times square uh, 1 times 1 squared is equals to 1 so 4 times 4 equals to 16 and so on and so forth like this one okay so we have the total of 382 where did i get 382 from 100 up to 49 we have to add that one so the total is 382 for the population variance that is squared is equals to 38.2 so where did i get 38.2 I get that because 30, 382 divide 10, the answer is 38.2. Alright? Okay. So, let's move for the today population standard division. So, always remember that uh, population standard division is the... Uh, we write that one in equals 6.18. Where did I get 6.18? So always remember that the standard division is the square, square root of the population variance. So note that standard division is the positive square root of the variance. So we have 38.2. So 38. 8.2 square root equals I mean square root square root of 38.2 equals yes we have 6 so we have 6.18 so that is how we get the population standard division okay thank you Thank you, Eunice, for your idea about population mean of parameters. So, let's move to uh, population variance. Since we already have the mean of the barangay, the total trees of barangays, so seven barangays, because we, we randomly choose which barangays uh, we were going to survey. So we have already the variance of a sample variance of barangays. So first we have barangay A, C, D, G, H, I, J. So from 10 barangays, we only, we only have 7. Okay, so A have 94 trees. C, 88, D, 79, and J, 77. So, when we are going to total that all, so the total is, the mean total is 602. Okay? So, when we are going to look for a variance of difference, sample variance of difference, so since we already have the, uh, we already have the main with, mean which is the 86 so so 94 minus the difference of 86 is equals to 8 88 minus 86 is 2 79 minus 86 is negative 7 why is it that this is negative 7 is because 79 is bigger than 86 so of course it is negative and down to uh, barangay j so the difference is 9 and move forward so since this is 8 so always remember that the difference when we going to have a sample variance we have 2 in our formula we have 2 uh, uh, multiply it by itself so it is, is equals to squared from the deva deviation of sample mean so it squared equals to 64 
2 squared equals to 4, negative 7 squared is equals to 49, and until 9 squared is equals to 81. So the total is 236. So here we have uh, the sample variance. We have a formula. So this one is the formula. So to compute for the sample variance e squared, we apply the formula e squared is equals to uh, mean uh, open parenthesis x is minus uh, mean sample mean squared. So n they n is the sample size. So n is equals to the sample size minus 1. So by the way, this 1 is the sample mean. This is the mean and the squared. So s squared or sample squared is equals to how many, the to what is the total uh, variance, sample variance of the barangays is 236, right? So this, this one, 236. So, we're going to put that 1, so over, since in minus 1, so since we have 7 barangays, minus 1 already uh, equals 6. So, 236 minus 6 is equals to 39.33. So, to, to compute the standard division of sample variance, and sample variance is we have to always remember that take note that uh, the standard division of sample variance we have to uh, get the positive square root of the variance so that is why 39 point a uh, square root of 39.33 is equals to 6.27 so that is the standard division of sample variance so we will move for the sample mean, sample variance, sample standard division of our what we call as statistics. So this is about the distribution, the tree distribution. So the question is, can the data gathered from the sample be used to make inferences about the population? So statistically speaking, yes. However, Every sample has a different statistic, and that statistic is also considered a random variable because the data vary from one sample to another. So we have there a target population and a sample. So we have a more or less a 20 population or 20 respondents there. So we only get the four sample so that is part of statistics the survey so in this three distribution of statistics we have population distribution sample distribution and the sampling distribution of statistics so a or the sample mean so the definition of population population distribution is that the distribution of the data corresponding to the values of a variable of interest in target population. And the sample distributions, the definition is that the distribution of the data for a variable of interest is sample selected from a population. And also the sampling distribution of the statistic sample means that the definition is distribution of values of the means obtained from sample selected from a population. So we have the different uh, different uh, standard symbols of the mean variance in standard division in the population distribution, uh, sample distribution, and sampling distribution of statistics or sample means. So we have an illustrative example. Mr. Ron wanted to know the effect of playing Mobile Legends to his five children. His five children have shown to be playing one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and five hours a day, respectively. Among these five children, two children will be selected to be the sample of his study. So you will get or you choose which these two 
children will be your sample of your study. So what are the parameters? What are the statistics? Find the mean and the variance of standard division of sample mean of statistics. So compute of the mean of the population. So the step one is the mean of the population. So we have there the formula. So we have the children one, children two, children three, children four, and children five. So since we already know what how to get the mean, so the mean is the average of the total scores of the students. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Divide five is equals to point. Three. So our mean is 3. So that's step 1. And the step 2 is compute the variance of the population. So we have the formula there. The uh, sample distribution of statistic sample mean. And they, the variance of the population is 2. So the variance of the population is 2. Okay, so the step, step three, determine the number of the possible samples. So there are 10 possible samples of size two that can be drawn. So this one, 10. So step four, list of possible samples and their corresponding mean. So the samples are 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, 2 and 3, and last 4 and 5. So the mean are, there are the, we have the corresponding mean. So this one, this one, 2, and the 4.5. So the step four. We look or construct the sampling distribution of the sample means. So since we have the sample mean already in the step 4, so we will um, uh, we will construct the sample means okay, of the distribution, this one, the probability, and the frequency. So where we get the frequency, 1.5. So 1 is the frequency, then probability is 1 over 10. Okay, so because there is only one probability. So out of 10, there is only one probability. So the step 6, we have the step 6, compute the mean of the sampling distribution of sample means. So we have here the sample mean already last uh, step 1. So we already have the sample mean of 3. Then last, they... Uh, Step 7, compute the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means. Yes, we already have the sample sampling variance. So what is sampling variance? So we will divide that and we will um, divide that and we will multiply the n minus 1, then divide and the answer is this 1. I know. Uh, sample variance of statistics is we have to multiply yes we have to multiply so the variance of the sampling distribution is 0.75 so the formula we will need to follow the formula to get the correct um, computation of variance sampling distribution of sample means so this one is the answer the sample uh, Standard deviation of sample means of statistics in sample variance. So 0.75. So thank you. I hope you gain or you have you learned something about this topic. So thank you, Montana Roses.